Hi, my name is Valentino and I'm from Arizona. I am a lifelong Republican. I've re voted strictly Republican since 1998, since I was able to vote. I voted for Donald Trump last election, 2016, and I will not be voting for him again. Um, I voted for him reluctantly, honestly, because Hillary was so radical. Um, I had issues with Trump. Although it was, it was endearing in a way that he wasn't a politician, I didn't like the way he spoke, but I thought that once he got elected in office, he would rise to the occasion, that he would, you know, get to task. Like everything he talked was just politics. And I realized quickly that that wasn't the case. And honestly, I just tuned it out. I tuned it out and I literally stopped listening to news for like the last almost three years because... I really, I just, I knew the media hated him and yada, yada, yada. And it wasn't until the coronavirus pandemic hit that I started to say, oh my God, um, to see how he handled that, to see, I've never experienced such poor leadership, lack of accountability. It was, it was crazy to me. Um, I literally started to rethink everything. And then of course, with the racial injustice, um, the division i've never everything out of his mouth is divisive key and it's been such a 360 to be turned around from i mean sadly i have to admit that i was very one issue voter you know i'm gonna vote for you if you're pro-life i'm gonna vote for you if you're fiscally conservative um Donald Trump isn't fiscally conservative um he hasn't been able to do anything um because like like I've heard the founder of the site say that um, he doesn't have the character to really get anything through. So, I mean, my wife is black. My kids are black. I'm confronted with a whole new major issue where the world is so much more complex than being a one issue voter. You know, am I switching to become a Democrat? I don't know. I would say no. But what's happening to the Republican Party is, frankly, it's scaring me, you know, and Donald Trump scares me at this point. So I will not be voting for him. And I just want to encourage anyone seeing this, um, if you are Christian, if you're whatever, evangelical, um, it's OK not to vote for Trump. To not vote for Trump doesn't mean you suddenly uh, uh, abandon all your values. He, he doesn't stand for us. Um, looking at his character, there's nothing about his character that exemplifies anything in the Bible. I mean, I can't even imagine him being a manager of mine back when I worked at Domino's Pizza, let alone being the president of the United States of America. It just, it baffles me. So I will not be voting for him. I will be voting for Biden, um, even though I do have a lot of issues with the Democrats in general, at least, at least I feel like they're hearing, hearing out the issues on racial injustice in America and at least trying to put something down to do something about it. But Donald Trump, he's just, he's not, he's not equipped. He's not even equipped to run a, a, a convenience store, um, let alone our country. So.